Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to the episode of Coral Island. That is just a weird box. <laughs> Rain, I don't even know whose birthday that is. That's gotta be merfolk. Anyway, us tomorrow is Jim and Kim's birthday, which is correct. Last episode, we automated our honey production. It was nice. It's still going to be the world's slowest production, I think. And then the Harvest Festival is coming up on Fall 15 at 7 p.m. in Alunaloon Square. Legendary farmer Jeff Smith will be the judge for the Harvest Festival Display Con Harvest Display Contest. To enter, bring your best products from each of the following six categories. Vegetables, fruit, flowers, hoop, barn, and artisan products. I will have to look into um, this chest. What we want to bring. Um... It's so weird, like, I, we literally have nothing to do anymore. It's just... I, I'm thinking today of automating the chests. Um, not the chests. Of automating uh, the mayonnaise and um, cheese machines. I was thinking of putting... Um, the loom on the same one. And the more I think about it, the more I realize it probably is not going to work. So I may have to abandon the loom being part of it. Um, yeah, it's just, it's just not going to work. Opened already. I do want to get another coop today. Like I said, to work towards our thousand, probably large eggs. We need to probably sell this goat milk. I don't remember if I needed it or not. I need to remember to write down when I sell an animal product. That's for an achievement. I did look a wee bit into achievements. And um, I think we're going to sell one of you, one of you, one of you. We're just going to sell one of everything we have. Actually, both of those can be sold. Uh, we will sell the large quail egg. We will, I think I sold this. We will sell that, that, and that. I think the only thing left to sell is a small milk. Um, wow. Coffee has a very fast processing time. I am learning. <laughs> wow, that is really fast. Um, but yeah, I am thinking of automating this a little bit. But the, the more I think about the, these are just not gonna work. I maybe once we get it caught up, it will. But just as is, I don't think it's going to work. Um, and I guess we can put... Um, because, like, it processes it in, in order. So, just like the truffle, the oil machine, probably would not work either on it, because we're going to have extra stuff in it that's just kind of lingering in the chest. And if they get caught up, then probably, but um, once some of our trees start to come in, ooh, we need to remember to add, save five and add them to this. I will maybe look into if we ever get another insect pond or insect house to maybe decide to, to buy another one or not. 
I might look into that to make it equal. I wasn't expecting to get that one. Um, I don't know how much those sell for. The coffees, I think, were selling. Ooh, that's a small milk. I think we're going to sell it. Where did I get that? Was that on my inventory the whole time? Probably was. This inventory is such a disaster. Durian juice. I have a feeling that's expensive. It is. Aging increases it, I think, fivefold. Um, plum juice. It only increases it from 150 at base value to 675. We may keep the the osmium quality. Um, like I said, the line we're drawing is osmium quality. That is the line we are drawing for aging. I mean, eventually if we get caught up with aging, which I don't think we ever will, we might increase what we're going to age. But we do need to edit the farm just a little bit. Um, because I decided automate this this all needs to get moved over and I think we're just going to move aging barrels to here just increase the production of aging so today I would like a coop which means I need to first put that away um why do I have two osmium bars on me I don't know I really don't know why I did, but I did. Um, if we do another coop, it is going to go right here. Uh, so I need to craft a fence because this entrance, well, I never used, is officially garbage. Well, the gate, the gate is garbage. Don't you escape him. Um, yeah, we're just going to put the coop here. Um, this stuff I'm going to keep for this. And then we're just going to have a mass sell off, I think, eventually. Uh, should we have a tool ready today? I don't know. I might check. I mean, we're going to sell this small stack. Okay. Um, coop is 100 stone, 50 wood, 5 bronze bars. How are we doing on bronze? Okay. Uh, fibers, wood. Ooh. How much wood was it? 100 wood. Okay, we need to chop down trees. We may go, well, if we can't, we need to get my axe back. <laughs> So we may go check on the status of our axe and then I thought it was either going to be ready today or tomorrow. Oh, trigger warning. Thank you for coming into our lives, Mr. Beaks. I never got the chance to meet you, but I understand you were a swell bird. White breasted wood wren dad. Right. That's what I said. It wasn't, but okay. Thought you were with us for, though you were with us for only a short time, Mr. Beaks, you taught us so much lo about love, hope, and compassion. We are so thankful that you came into our lives and we're better people for having met you. We wish you a speedy flight and whatever adventure awaits you next. Bye. Oh. I almost passed you by, Mr. Beak. I didn't eat, didn't see you laying there on the ground, but then I heard you chirp, calling for help. You were so small when I found you. You fit into the palm of my hand, and I knew right away your ring was bro broken. I needed, I didn't need my junior's guide up to woodland creature to tell me that. I knew I had to help you. And I was so excited, even though we just met, even though you were broken, I knew I just met a new friend. I tried, Mr. Bre Beak, and I, I did everything I knew how to do. I'm sorry I couldn't save you. 
But I know I did my best. I know I made your final days warm and safe. I'm glad I met you, and I'm glad I was able to help you as best I could. I'll never forget you, Mr. B. Um, I did, <clears throat> I did look into, that is her final scene, by the way. Um, I did look into, um, oh, that's going to drive me crazy. The visual mass is this way, so I am going to put it here. Or I could do Mm, we'll put we'll do this one since like they kind of ha are heavier this way it that make to my eyeballs looks better i can't change the look of them yet so we are going to cut down wood once we get our axe i'm going to go check on our axe uh, i was doing some research about other um um other achievements i guess we could do <clears throat> there is one for cooking 10 items we probably almost have it thank god do we want to do the hoe we might i'll process geodes oh we're to coffers well there's going to be nothing in this one should have emptied my inventory, but it's fine. This is the one we needed G.I. Joe. RNG, 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 RNG. No. Oh, you suck, RNG. Uh, even though uh, we, we, we did go to the uh, salesman lady, last episode we're gonna try again and see if she changes her thing that's mainly out of desperation we're gonna go <clears throat> upgrade our axe i mean our hoe we're gonna go home get our stuff or empty stuff out and then <laughs> the last one then just is so awful oh my gosh um, I need osmium bars, which it's not this many, and I'm going to take 10, though I think it's five, and we're going to go over here. Oh, this G.I. Joe thing is just annoying. I think the only thing more annoying is Blopal. I, I actually think that's the truth. I don't know where the cassette is. I kind of think it, I know it's low. Um, I know it's very low on the totem pole of items. Oh, I was making more. Oh yeah, because probably we needed it for... Um, what's it called? The... I am going to dump this off, except for the hoe. We're going to dump you off. Uh, we'll keep that on there. I was in the middle of saying a sentence and I fully forgot. It's fine. It doesn't matter. Okay, upgrading hoe. Upgrade tool. Yeah, we're just down to the hoe and a watering can. As I said, the watering can will be lacked. <laughs> uh, we'll do this one. And then we will go do the fossils. Uh, we are for the fossils, we're down to two. Is it one? I think it might be one now. Like I said, today, once we're gonna up, we're gonna use what we have on us. 
and we're going to finish upgrading our axe and then we're going to go chop down a bunch of trees that's pretty much what we're going to concentrate on today is chopping down trees because i did not know our wood was this low and being that it takes forever for wood to for trees to grow on your farm we're just gonna un off all the trees on the island they're making me deforest they're making me they're forcing my hand we're looking for, I think, the Tyrannosaur spine. Ooh, we, I think, well, we got the skull already. I, this is now an extra one. We basically want skulls and I think torsos because they're the best for enchanting. The T-Rex spine is like a scrunchy little spine. That's the icon. It's like a vertical um, scrunchy spine. Why am I walking here? I can just quite literally take this. Any errands? No. Okay. Um. We're gonna go home first. I do kind of want to clear out the twenties. Um, before I go for anything more okay so we need more of that if we want to process um if we want to make more auto chests we definitely need more i'm curious how long this is going to take that that may almost have been a mistake to automate but it's more i don't know is it a mistake to automate it um when it takes so long for anything to process that it's actually paying attention to it is just mind numbing. I don't know. To me, that's kind of like a priceless thing that is just going to do its own thing now. Um, just because it takes so long for it to reproduce. Oh my God. Or not reproduce to actually process. Okay. We need to clear off my bar. I don't know how that came up. I must have hit a, a hotkey. Why didn't the silver kelp? I guess I didn't buy it anyway. Okay, well, I just, we, we're going to file this away and then come back and put things in the right bars. Well, I was trying to think, what was the other... What was the other one I thought we might be able to for um, achievements that was achievable soon. I don't remember, but there was some achievement that was, I thought we might be able to do soon. It was the 10, was the 10 recipes. Um, that was definitely one of them. That should be enough. And then, I don't remember. Oh, buying 10 outfits. That is literally, I am just going to pick an outfit because I hate the clothing in this game. We've gone over this many times. I really don't like the clothing in this game. So that's going to be a really quick one. Just because I don't like the clothing. I don't know why I'm carrying the TNT around, but I am. The birthdays are tomorrow. I believe we're on the 5th. Yes, it's tomorrow. I do think they actually both need decent things. For um, Jim and Kem, I think they're actually a little bit behind. Enchant. I don't understand what that is. Okay, you can upgrade that. I don't care. Chance to destroy debris in one hit. I don't know if that works for trees. To me, it should if it's an, op an option. 
Okay, that one's purple. I mean, because this is a convoluted system, um, coming from Minecraft, this is just, thank you for making it blue. This makes no sense to me um, because I guess, ooh, thank you. It's a convoluted system. It makes no sense. Um, or is that better? I kind of think we're going to go with this. And we'll try one more time. Okay, we're really lucking out on... How much were you worth? 20. Okay, so I guessed right. It might have been this one I guessed wrong. Wow, we are actually really lucking out. Um... We're done. That's fine for me. Mainly because we're out of stuff. Actually, I do need to look. What do Jim and Kim... Jim likes wasabi and a shiitake. Kim is a bouquet. Um, do I have anything on here that might help me? Nope. I'm going to pause because that just seems wrong. I'll be right back. Okay, um, Kem likes, loves, excuse me, loves pizza, basil pesto pasta, gnocchi, that was the wrong one, gnocchi, seafood ramen, and veggie ramen. Dippa, 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 do you like lettuce? Okay, we needed to give them points. Um... They are one of the people who I we need to work on. Mainly because they, they don't go to any festivals. They're not coded to do it. Actually, I don't know if that's true. It seems like it's true, though. Because they, they and their wife are always roaming around by the lake. Okay, cutscene. Wasn't expecting this. Oh, Surya. Continuation of Surya's story. Lexi. Just who I wanted to talk to. Have a minute? For you, Surya, sure. Well, you were there when I told my aunt and uncle I was going to move out. You saw how well they took it. Yeah, I was the fly on the wall. I could... I could have irrigated my entire farm with all the waterworks. <laughs> I almost think you were dying and not moving. This one. Seriously? Well, um, this time it's no joke. No time for a joke. It's always time for a joke. I just didn't take into account how much family means to my aunt and uncle. They think I'm abandoning them. Of course, I'm incredibly grateful for all the kindness they've shown me. But I'm an adult. I need my own space, too. You know, we, we go to family dinners together, parties too. We have game nights, movie nights. A little bit of it that is fine. They're family after all, and I love them. But it's almost like by staying under their roof, I'm under some implied obligation to go. Sometimes it can be a bit be suffocating. I don't blame them. Besides, I'm a grown man. I feel bad occupying their space for free. No rent, no food money. They wouldn't let me pay for anything. It's hard. It, it, it'd be hard for them, but I'll take them to see the place. When they see how amazing it is, they won't be able to stand in my way, right? I think if they want what was best for you, they wouldn't, right? Another cutscene. Mom! I'm guessing this is Noah. Mom, Mom, are you okay? Don't mind me and my fairy wing. <laughs> oh, no! Lexi, quit. Help me carry her to the clinic. Oh, no, no, 
Fatty, don't do this to me. Take it easy for today, a spra sprained ankle from the fall. Uh, maybe just a rest for a week or so. Let the swollen part heal before you walk around too far, okay? All right. How are you feeling, Betty? I am feeling fine, Doc. No, Mom, you need to rest. Ah, uh, I will, I will rest. But don't worry too much about me. I only slipped. I'll be fine. Yes, that's good that you feel fine. But you need to, you need the rest. If you don't have any questions, I will go now and give you folks some privacy. Thanks, Doc. I should be leaving too, because this is really none of my business. Thank you for bringing me here, kid. My head feels a bit light, so I think I will rest now. Oh, poor Betty. She's lucky, though, it was only a sprained ankle. Oh, another one. Oh, my God. Lexi, great running into you here. Join me, won't you? I just wanted to check for a piece of pizza. Uh, can I get you a drink? The cider is wonderful today. Sure. You won't regret it. I'm not much of an alcohol drinker. When I was in Paris, I went to like a crepe house and they had like slightly alcohol cider, like apple cider, and it was delicious. Good, right? It's mainly because you couldn't taste the alcohol in it that I didn't mind it. If you can taste the alcohol, it's like bleh. I'm glad I ran into you, Lexi. I'm facing something of a conundrum. Good word. I love that word. Oh, you haven't been on the island for too long yet, have you? You wouldn't have known me as anything other than the store manager down at the ranch. It's my son who does the real ranching these days. I'm so proud of him. Kenny has a great hand with the animals, and it's amazing to see what he's doing with the ranch. I always hoped he'd follow in my footsteps and bring me so much pride to see, and it brings me so much pride, excuse me, to see how well he's doing. But, well, here's the thing. I'm a rancher at heart, always have been. I fell into the store management as something of a necessity, but it's not my where my passion is. But really anyone's, I would never want to run a store. And more and more, I'm thinking that maybe I'm not ready to be out put out to pasture. Not yet. I don't want to step on Kenny's toes. He's earned his place at the ranch and then some. But I just can't, I can't just sit behind the counter anymore. I can't. So I guess you're in the, you're the first to know, Lexi. I can't wait to get back to work. Cheers. Will there be another one? Oh my God. I need a cough drop. Oh, it's continuing Aaliyah. I need a cough drop. This, I was not expecting this much reading. Okay. <clears throat> Why can't you be happy for me? I am happy for you, dear. Look at what you've accomplished, but I want you to stay close now. You've gone off and had your adventure. Poor Betty on a sprained ankle, now having to lecture her daughter. You have no idea what's going through my mind when you're flying gosh knows where. Now it's time to let Betty rest. Come sit here, Betty. I can help carry. Oh, hello, Lexi, dear. Or oh, I added that. That's Betty. You know, she calls people dear. Uh, we didn't see you there. I know I'm invisible. I'm just the fly on the wall. Mama was just listing all the reasons I shouldn't become an astronaut. That's not what I said, Leah. You might as well have. You want me to stay on Coral Island and settle down. Give me, give you some grandkids, but that's not what I want, Mama. What do you think, Lexi? Isn't flying airplanes in the military dangerous enough? Does she really need to go into space? It's dangerous. I like to be on the ground. Aaliyah should answer that, not me. It sounds exciting. I'd go, but I'm too scared. I'll do that one. Exactly. Thank you, Lexi. I knew you were solid. After all, Aaliyah told you about this astronaut business before she told her own family. That I that seems weird to me. And I get it, but... I don't know. That's because I knew you would do this. First, you tried to walk, talk, walk. You tried to talk me out of joining the military, and now the astronaut program? Why won't you let me live my own life? It needs like a hmm added to it. Poor Betty. This has been a rough day for you, ma'am. Oh, dear.
And now you're putting a woman with a sprained ankle to work who's sitting in a hospital bed. I lost my husband and now my family is scattering to all corners of the earth. We're done? We're done. Okay. I don't even know what I was saying anymore at this point. Are they closed? For real? Okay. So she likes that. She likes that. And she... We're going to get her this. It's cheaper. There we go. That should level us, level us up with chem. Fully. Um, actually, I'm going to pause and see what else I can give Jim. Okay, Jim is wasabi or shiitake. Those are his most loved gifts. So we may see if we have either. Oh, my hoe's gone. Dang it. Okay. Um, we are going to go check for Jim's gift really quick just because it... Oh, no, I just want to go to my farm. Oh, Barney the raccoon. Okay, Barney. There she is. Ready? Just be confident. Stand tall. Remember not to fall and you'll do be just fine. Every raccoon who's crazy about a sharp dressed man. This is ridiculous. Here she comes. This spelling of raccoon changing constantly drove me crazy. I actually Googled it. Oh no, is she hurt? So raccoon in America, America is C-C-O-O. That is the correct spelling. Europe, who doesn't even have raccoons, changed the spelling to R-A-C-O-O-N. The correct spelling is C-C-O-O-N. We have the, Amer the, spe the actual animal in America and only in America. So ours is the correct one. I am pulling the American card on that one. If we have the animal, we pick the spelling. <laughs> this is a case where Europe just wants to be different. It's normally America. We just want to be different. <laughs> a splinter and a big one, too. One sec, let me help you. It would be nice if you actually saw the raccoons around the island, you know? That would be nice. Like, you know, just hanging out, chilling tricky little devil, isn't it? Oh. Stop laughing, Sheila. I can't get it out of you uh, out when you're moving so much. This is also, I think, her final scene. So I think we finished two people today. No, I think Aaliyah has a couple more. We finished Dinda, though. Got it. No. Oh. I knew you got this. A good tuxedo never fails. Good job, Barney. Okay. I think the saga of Barney the raccoon may be finally over. I do remember that being the last scene. What was I doing, Jim? That is just what's so annoying. I mean, the scenes are, you learn a lot about the characters, which is nice. But it's also really annoying because I just, okay, so he, we got shiitakes. If um, we have osmium shiitakes down here, we might switch them out. I said hi to you, okay. Um, just because we really need to level Jim all the way. Can I harvest you? Yes. And then... I have my spare Mushitake. Okay. We'll do these two. No, he doesn't want Mushitake. He wants Shitake. So, yeah, we're still with this one. Okay. I'm, confu I'm confusing myself. We may just give him wasabi. 
Just because I am confusing myself so much at this point. I think Ebor's going to give him the Shataki, or if we get a better Wasabi. Okay, we need to down trees. Ah. <sighs> Man, oh man. I literally just wanted down trees today. That was it. Oh my god. I think we can officially down trees faster than they can grow. That's so broken. That is so broken. Holy. I'm just sitting here with my eyes like wide open, like holy cow. That's still score hits, right? One, two, three, three, three or four. Oh, this one in its stupid hit box. Nope. Yeah, I don't think we're going to be able to get it. Try one more time. No. This There is something wrong with this tree. There we go. I got one hit on it. Ooh. That is so broken. I am almost tempted to go into the deep forest and see how many hits that tree is. We might. It's not the wood I need, so it's kind of pointless. Man. Do I really need exceptional cutter? I don't think so. Like I, I dare say that that perk is pointless. Oh, I am just shocked. This is so OP. Okay. I need to get over the shot. Oh, okay. And then we're just going to go around and just do this to all the trees today. I want to stack. That way we pretty much never have to do this again. I feel like there's a bird just at any moment right getting ready to pop out. Actually, yesterday, I decided to um, break out my Switch and play Sandrock on my Switch. Oh my gosh. I feel so bad for anyone who plays on their Switch. It's an awful experience. First of all, my game crashed twice. So there's the first off. Ooh, golden chicken. Um, so that's the first off was my game crashed twice. Second off, the graphics still really suck. <laughs> Though I didn't notice because I was poking around in the graphics. They do now have a setting for uh playing on your television instead. So if you do the whole like, uh, whatever you call that, the casting to your TV, then you can up the graphics. But the graphics were so bad. They improved, yes, but they were still really bad. I feel bad for anyone who plays on the Switch. I only got the Switch version because, um, I wanted the special edition, um, and I didn't want 
two versions for the PC. I wanted some a different version. So I chose the Switch because that's the only other system I have. Man. Man, oh man. Ranch building. You're annoying. Okay, we're almost done. I was kind of hoping we would pick up a wasabi. I think it's the season for wasabi. I always, I always get wasabi confused with something else. Always get it confused. I'm trying to... A lot of celery. There we go. Oh, this one. Huh? It's so OP. Oh my gosh. Um, I think we're gonna go home, and then probably go check. Oh, the vendor's not ready yet. Um, I will keep this again for gifts. Oop. So we have those two ready. Okay. Um, you go there. I don't know why I'm carrying around silver kelp, but I am. Oh, those can get sold then. Or, do I even, I don't have celery, do I? Nope, we'll put it in here. But that still surprised me that it is not a, a crop, you know? That just always seems weird to me. Do I have... Auto chest. I have enough for one. That doesn't seem worth it until we get so. This might be done by the morning. So we might set it up for these top three. Yeah. Wow. Um, I don't know if I've sold a black truffle. So we will sell a white truffle and a black truffle. I would think at this point we have to be maxing out that skill. That um see, that looks like celery. It's bok choy, but it looks like celery. I think we have to almost at this point have sold everything. I really do think we have. I'm small, large, small, large, small, large, or large, large. This to me is everything. We'll find out in the morning. Oh, I need to put this away. And then we're going to go to the vendor. And I think we're going to spend the rest of the evening. Um... Probably, um, hmm, I don't know. I don't know where I want to spend the evening. We might go diving. Oh, uh, we do need kelp again. This is finally done, so we are going to put this in uh, just so we can say we've touched it. Um, we, I do want to, we do need to increase, uh, ooh. nice. 
Oh, we do need to increase the amount of aging barrels we have. Which What does an aging barrel take? I keep forgetting to... I look it up and then I forget. Osmium bars. Oh my gosh, everything is finally osmium bars. Took a long time, but everything's finally osmium. Yeah, it's the same. Okay. Yeah, this is exactly the same. It was I needed to try I needed to look. So we basically just need to remember to come here one day each week. That is essentially what it is. Um I think we're gonna go here because we need osmium kelp. And then tomorrow, I think we're going to go to the Osmium Mine because we need Osmium Ore. Wow, we, are we actually going to use all of our, in our uh, stamina today? We might. We very well might. Thanks, game. For the one. I am almost to the point of ready. I'm ready to go buy it. Actually, they don't sell it, do they? I don't think the lab sells it. I think the lab only goes up to gold. That's more like it. Thank you. I do need to write down when the hoe would be ready. I did so Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. So to Wednesday, I will write to go school, get it. I'm gonna write that note right now. Wednesday, oh, I'm going to look at that and be like, what the hell were you on? What does that mean? <laughs> Pretty much guarantee it. Okay. Oh, two bundles. Wow, you are just so generous. I never thought we would reach a point um, where we would really start using the osmium. It just, it feels like the focus for so long is on um, bronze. And it just seems like it takes so long for anything else to really be needed. And so then once you kind of get used to the thing like, oh, we need bronze, we need bronze, we need bronze into the, like it's drilled into your head. It's like, oh, well, we don't need bronze anymore. That looks like a glowing fungus in fallout. No, brain fungus, excuse me, it glows, but I think it's called brain fungus. Lovely name. Um, but that's what it looks like, and it's in a little cluster. I think I may have officially stopped with the tab. <laughs> I think I may have finally learned not to do that in this game. Um... I probably still will eventually, but I have I have gotten better for a little while there. I was really over to gold. Okay. We're going to go home. Actually, I'm going to get these two while we're here. And we're going home. Because this is a 
a really long day. Like, really long. We're like at 50 minutes. So many cutscenes. I was not expecting... What was it? Five cutscenes in a row? I lost track. It, I think it was five cutscenes in a row, though. Which is craziness. We're going to sell you and one of you for completionist goals. I think we already are beyond that. I think there is one thing that you need to sell every item in the game. I do think... Um, this is completing the museum in total. This is the artifacts, this is the jewels, this is the um, fossils. High roller is, I think, getting 10,000 or 10 million, maybe? I don't remember. I think it's the next step after this. Best of friends is having 10 levels. I mean, 10 hearts with somebody. This is, I think, having a big pretty much max relationship with everyone then this is marriage 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 we're working on this the legendary farmer maybe this is buying 10 outfits this is buying i think 25 outfits this i don't remember this is crafting one of every item in the game which we're going to work towards some of them we know we can skip but home cook is i think 15 items and this one might be every item because um, some of these are not on Steam. I've, I did not see this one on Steam. And then this is Coral Island, which I don't remember what that one is. I don't remember at all. I need to write them down. It's just like normally when I look them up, it's like right before I film a video. It's like, well, I'm not going to sit there and write them all down. Right before I film a video. Because then I'd be like, oh, well, I'm done for the day. Kem and Jim. Kem and Jim. We're going to try to do a fast day today. Um, just because it's working. Uh, this is a very long episode. So what are you planting? Orchids. Okay. I think I did set them all up good enough that we shouldn't have too much waste. Um, I did notice. I don't know if I. I don't know if I got distracted when saying this. That um, what I noticed is that you no longer get. Uh any of the bonuses now so the replant one never perks um why are you telling me my inventory is full when i went here okay um so um oh my gosh you there I want this stuff. Okay, we have to go down here. Yeah, so you never get the replant thing anymore. That is not a thing that perks ever. And I don't even think double crops perks. So is that enough to make me get rid of all of them? I don't know. I actually don't know. I'm tempted to. Um, Can we make auto chests? Make two. Let's see how it does. Okay. Next. I don't think I actually cleared out enough space. The music is not working really at all today. <laughs> At all, at all. Mm. 
olive oil is of course the oil press. So you go in there, the apple is, I believe the apple is in the kegs. So we'll put them there. So, yeah, it definitely needs one more. Um, I can finally get rid of this. And now we can go into here. Uh, cranberries, I believe, are in here. Mm, yes, um, we're just going to put them right in. Basil is in the kegs. Boom and boom and boom. We're going to sell that. I'm curious if this will go in any of them. Should go into here. Interesting that it's not. That is interesting that it's not, it should. Canola oil, fairy rose mead is aging. No, it already is age. Okay. This should go in. Oh, I guess not. No. Okay. Yeah, it definitely... Thinking that the way that will work the most effective is actually four of each. I kind of think that might be the most effective way of having four cheese presses and four mail machines. But is it worth having that? I don't know. I think it will be this way for a little while until we get caught up. I mean, um, not caught up it, I guess. Until we level the animals up enough that they're all producing the same thing. I kind of think that's where we're at. Okay. Oh, wow. Nice that they're on the same schedule. to put blue morphos into another one. So this isn't a full payday because I mean it is because we're we're gonna be short five sharks. Because we are selling um we'll put this one first. The blue morphos are gorgeous. They really are. Because the blue morpho, these ones are truly making up for this right here. Um, but we will be short technically five sharks for like the full, the full thing. Um, did I load the looms? No, they still need stuff. Okay. I am very confused at this point what I need for legendary farmer. I may, or whatever the one was, I may have to look into that to see what I'm short on it. 37 coffees. Oh my God. I will sell one of those. I think I sold it yesterday. Um, We're going to switch this out for that and we're going to sell you. Like at this point, why would we even give anyone an ordinary coffee at this point? 
though I don't think everyone likes coffee. I don't, I think, I don't know if it's as much of a universal like as the tea is. I've never paid attention, actually. Uh, okay. It's all cotton. I'm curious how this is going to work. Anyway, we need to go sell more fish and then um, give a gift to Kem and give a gift to Jim. We might process these little bits that we got. Um, Kem is probably at the beach. We'll go to them first. I can put the seaweed away. I don't know why I'm carrying seaweed around. Um. We may because this is it this is becoming such a long episode. Um I might just go to the mines. And just, okay, she's maxed out. I might just go to the mines and just really quickly use all my energy. This is the day where Yuri's just the most annoying human, right? Because I can never interact with Jim. I believe so. This is coming back to me now because I saw her picture there that she literally spends all day with him. I can't even give him. Yep. Yep. Okay. Yuri, you suck. Okay, we're gonna, I guess I'd go have a cutscene. No. <laughs> well, at least it's a Leo one we need. Come on, I know you're out there. We're behind on her, so it's fine. I think the only person who we don't have a single cutscene from is Ling. Come on. Ever try waving back? Am I never getting a hello back from you, aren't I? That's fine. How long have you been waiting to spring that line on me, huh? I don't know. Maybe you should be a better person. A nicer person. I guess she's proof that money can't buy you everything, including a personality. I'm sorry. Wow, I didn't mean to. I'm sorry, Lexi. God, I'm such a loon. I'm just on edge, that's all. It's Ling. You know Ling, right? My stepmother. She runs the lab in town. Everyone loves her, but the thing is, we don't exactly get along. Not surprising, because I don't think you can get along with anyone. I mean, she's fine and everything. I just never really clicked after she married my dad. Um, it's not like I have the world's best mother. She chose her career over me, after all. And I haven't heard from her in ages. But I do have one, and it's not Ling. Oh, I'm sorry? Yeah, we're all sorry. So lately, Ling's been, I don't know, making an effort or something. She wants to connect with me. I don't need a fake mom in my life, and she's my dad's wife. It's not like I can completely blow her off, so I'm just trying to find ways to distress. Usually, taking pictures of dolphins helps me relax, but the dolphins haven't been showing up lately. And perfect, a perfect end to a perfectly miserable day. You know, you may want to give Ling a chance. She's actually pretty nice. I'll do this one. Thanks for the unsolicited advice about my personal life. You're not welcome. Oh, uh, we're going to go to the blacksmith really quick and process the mysterious coffer and hope that we have RNG in these two geodes. Or mysterious coffers. I don't know. Do I want to go swimming for the mysterious coffers? I don't know. Either way, we need them both. I think we're going to go dot um, mining. Okay. 
I can't re wait till we reach the point where I can just sell all of this. Which is soon. I mean, if you really think about it, it's very soon. Um, there's not much that we're gonna, we need to, re um, well, at least for the 20 value. There's not much more need for the 20 value. Ooh, we finally have honey. Look at that. Um, it's there will become a point where this is our go-to chest. Um, I believe you, you were from here. Uh, we're going to wait on the fossil node. It just doesn't seem worth going to the lab for one item. Well, they're closed today, so it doesn't matter. Um, there. Jim. I can't put that away because of Jim. Oh, yeah, we're going to go to the mine for a little while because I kind of vaguely remember Yuri and him hanging out until like four or five o'clock. So we're going to go back to, um, actually we need Osmium. So we're going to go to this one. We're looking for purple crystals. That's actually really disappointing that this isn't one hit. For the Osmium. It's actually really disappointing. We need the fire geodes. That is what we're at. For a purple crystal. That's right. So we will be doing again breaking every. I do need. I keep forgetting to write the percentages down. I probably will after I fill this. Finally, a fire geode. I think for C.I. Joe, out of the Mysterious Coffers, I think it's only like a 3% chance. I have a feeling we're going to be getting C.I. Joe from the Rare Vendor. I just have that feeling. Unfortunately, Blopal is not available from the, the Rare Vendor. Blopal, we are literally at the mercy of RNG. Which is an awful feeling. I have to say, it really is. But it's like... It kind of... I think I kind of appreciate how sand like for Sandrock completing the museum collection. Even though there's not like a, an achievement for it or anything. Well, there might be one for just donating items. Um I haven't I, it's been so long since I had to get that achievement. I don't remember. Um but I do think there actually is one for donating X amount of number of uh things in the museum. I you do have to appreciate their system that you can just reset the floor. So RNG is a thing, but just reset the floor and a whole new level of RNG. So it's like, gives you options. Whereas here it's just, we're, we're hoping for RNG on the drop hit and we're hoping for more RNG breaking it or processing it at either the lab or 
the blacksmith. That's the next level of RNG. So it's like RNG on top of RNG. So it, it becomes a really feel bad thing after a while. Basically, you have to finish the museum and even to get into the territory of uh, getting an S. Well, the S tier is not implemented, but an A tier or town rank or an S tier. That's the only way you have to finish the museum. It's essentially gated behind that. Because you need the... 40 points for the collection completion. And for uh, the global, it's also gated behind 45 points. It's also behind getting a global to donate to your altar. has kicked on once today. I really don't think it has. Oh my gosh, there's so much to hit in here. And it's nice, it's more opportunity. get more osmium. Man, you get more fossils than anything else. Because have I not found the way down yet? Oh, okay, it's there. I'm like, wow. This is the worst RNG I think I've ever seen. <laughs> oh, that would have been so sad. Oh, there is music. I need to look for um, the purple crystal. If that can drop from the little nodes that look like the eyeball. I need to see if that's in the, that loot table. I tell you though, this game, I don't think I've ever had to study loot tables more than, in the, than I haven't had to do in this game. 100%. This is the most loot table looking into I have ever done. Um, we're just going to clear the majority of this. I may just break out the TNT. I think I'm going to, in between episodes, I'm going to look at the footage and see what I have sold for the ranching and figure out what I need to sell. To look at the footage from the last two episodes, so today and yesterday, to see what else I need to look to sell. I am shocked we haven't gotten that one. And there are a couple achievements that are broken, so it wouldn't shock me if that one was. Okay, we're just gonna 
Where's going to TNT? Yeah, you definitely get a lot less. Definitely get a lot less. Okay, where is Jim? And we may just call it an early night. Um, he's at home. Well, mm, I think that's the closest one. We might just go switch to um, my one too far. Yes, I am. Okay. We may actually switch to just going to the diving or the mysterious coffers. No, 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 no. Well, thank you for the thoughtful birthday present. You're welcome. I just didn't want him to go in the house. Yeah, I think we're going to switch gears. We're going to empty our pockets, switch gears, and go diving for mysterious coffers. So we kind of have like a little smorgasbord of everything we need right now. Um, uh, you, 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 you. Okay, and all of this goes down there. So like, wow. We have a lot of stone. Okay. Um, is that when we go process tomorrow? We have a little bit of everything. I will also, in between episodes, go look at... Um, um, what we're going to do for the... Bolt. Uh, what we're going to do for the Harvest Festival. Okay. That actually is really quite nice, I have to say. Is it a little much? Yeah. It's a little much. But, eh, what are you going to do? No one's birthday is the next episode. Okay. Diving. Um, we're just going to go to this one. Mysterious coffers can literally show up anywhere. I want... Thank you. Man. It's like it shows up, then it doesn't, then it shows up, and it hates going in here. I will, I think, also Google, um, see if people in their experience have said where the best place to get mysterious coffers is. I might look into that a little bit, because that's literally what we need at this point is mysterious coffers. Um, I think it's going to be one of those things where we need to find um, something that has the least amount of items in its loot pool, pool to do it. That is what I think is going to be the thing, is to look at loot pools and if something has... I just throw a number out there. That this is pulling from three or four different items, where another one is only pulling for two different items. I'm going to go to the place it has to do. Because I have a higher percentage of getting it. I think I need to look at that. What the percent and the percentage of drops. That's kind of because we're really narrowing it down at this point. What we need. I really have to hone in on what I need. Like I'm reaching a point where the series kind of, I wanted to finish the museum collection 
and then be done. And then finish the altars, the museum collection, and then move on to another game. That game is I don't know, but to move on to a different game. Uh, so we're reaching that point where I need to just, I kind of need to start looking into moving on. And then hopefully with the merfolk update, we can come back to this and finish. Part of me is tempted to next, mainly because I played so little of the last two updates. Part of me is tempted to do a Stardew Valley run. Just because, like I said, I have, I have not touched either update. Um, the thing about Stardew Valley is I am really bad at the fishing, like embarrassingly bad. Um, so I might eventually, if I do a Stardew Valley, it will be probably a little bit modded. Um, some will just be quality of life mods, like seeing NPCs on the map. Um, but I also may install a mod eventually that just eliminates the fishing that they're just instant catches. Because I am so bad at it. Like, we will never finish any of the fishing altars because I'm so bad. I normally have to eventually just install a mod to instant catch. Um, well, basically, I'm okay until uh, I suck until I finally get the uh, the last the osmium quality or whatever rod. I have done a I have done a playthrough before where I cheat in at the very beginning an osmium rod and all osmium tools. I've done that before. I'm not against that. I might do it. But I, the fishing, I'm just really I'm really bad at it. Like it it's embarrassing how bad I am. Like I'm embarrassed for myself. <laughs> it's, it's really bad. <laughs> Uh, um, we're going to check this. Wow, this is really... Oh, I did not want... The, actually... Nope. It's too late now. Um, I did want this to go through. It's fine. Ooh, now we're to Osmium Coffee. Do I switch it out? Mm, I don't know. I think we might. Okay, nothing ready. It's making sure. I'm surprised the cactus hasn't grown in there. Like, actually really surprised it hasn't grown. You know what? We're going to keep 37 gold. And we're going to sell those two. Going to bed. Is it going to be an early day? Mm, kind of. It kind of is an early day. Okay, leveled up with Kem and Jim, or Chime as the devs say, Chime and Jim. Oh my god, I forgot it was a double selly day. <laughs> 90,000, and we're, this is not all of them. We're short that much, 10,000. <laughs> wow, okay. <laughs> that will actually really help us get towards that. 10 million or whatever, or a million, I don't remember. Anyway, so I hope you enjoyed this episode of Coral Island. Next episode, we're going to probably upgrade the coop again if it's ready. And then to get it to, to get eight chickens in there to start working towards that rancher thing. Um, 
our hoe will not be ready. Like I said, I'm going to do a bunch of research in between on where to get better chance in the mysterious geodes and that type of stuff. And I will also research um, officially what we're going to submit to the Harvest Festival. I will try to get that in there. And yeah, so we did some automation today. We did a decent amount of stuff. But anyways, hope you enjoyed. Take care of yourself and bye for now. Thank you.